What's up YouTube? So today I got a simple removal of a Ford radio. They used to use the radios where they had um, four slots in the front of them for a long, 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 long time. Mainly in the 90s into the early 2000s. And uh, there's a lot of them out there and you may need to remove them to get to an actuator, to pull a cluster as in this vehicle, to change it out to an aftermarket, whatever you got. Well, there's a special tool to do that. And it may cost fifteen to twenty dollars to get a set that has one in it. Looks like that, they're hardened steel. So what you can use instead is uh, thick coat hangers. And you can take a coat hanger and cut pieces off, straight pieces, down to about six inches, put them in each one of the slots, and then you can yank it out without uh, having to buy that tool. So I'm going to attempt to show you here. So you stick them all the way in just like the, the real tool. Right? Stick them all the way in and you get into that release in there and then you take them and you push out and then you pull. You hear they snap back in. Now let's do it again. And I'll show you again. You take these, push, make sure it all the way in, push out, and you pull. And that's how you pull a Ford radio with some coat hangers. Might as well. Save yourself some money and get it out of there. Hope this helps out.